Hello everyone and welcome to the next tutorial here on duct tape stuff. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a duct tape dream catcher. Kind of an interesting idea I got a few days ago so I thought I'd turn this into a tutorial. Before we get started here we do have two birthdays today. So happy birthday to Lollipop1229 as well as BR28152. So I hope you guys enjoy this, this tutorial. So what, first thing we're going to start here is we're going to start sticking strips together. So let's start working on that. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut out six strips of tape that are four inches long each. And we're going to take our first two and we're going to stick them together just like this, right on top there. Those are first, our first two, uh, our first four inch strips, first two. Next we're going to do is apply another one. You can put about half of it on this part here. Put the whole thing over. And then you take your fourth one. And this what we're going to do is we're going to grab our ruler here, and obviously they're four inches long, so that'll be our width there. Now we're going to make a square here, so we're going to actually going to make the whole thing four inches wide here on the bottom, four inches long. So actually we've got a little bit of a while to go, so we'll apply this one on top here, and then we'll measure it up with this one here. So we line up with zero. And we want to come down to four inches. We're going to overlap quite a bit on this one, but that's okay. It'll just make the, the Dreamcatcher a little more durable by having more duct tape. So, grab our last strip and cover up the rest of the sticky side showing here. So you should end up with a square piece of duct tape, a square sheet that's four inches wide and four inches long on, you know, on all four sides. So once you got that, you got our first part of the Dreamcatcher. Right, so once you've got that sheet, basically all I did was take a roll of duct tape that I had and then put it laid on there and then trace the outline of it around there. Next thing I'm going to do is take a pair of scissors and I'm just going to cut out this entire piece just like this. So all the way around, try to make it as uh, perfectly circular as you can. It's going to be a little difficult if you're doing it quickly, but that's okay. And it should be fairly easy to cut through this sheet of duct tape because there's two pieces, or at least two pieces stuck together. It's always easier to cut through that because there are no sticky sides showing. So once you have that circle piece, we have the basis of our dream catcher. Next thing we're going to do is actually cut out the holes for the dream catcher. So basically the next step is to take your pen and you can kind of just go crazy with that, whatever kind of design you want on the, uh, the dream catcher. You can go with kind of like a spider web design, which is kind of what I did here, except I kind of made it all over the place with those, those spider web uh, chunks that you would eventually cut out and then it would make it look like a spider web. I kind of just put them all over the place. But it is really up to you how you want to do it. If you want, you can go online and actually look how certain dream catchers are made and then rip those images right on. But you know, you just use a pen, cut out those, uh, or mark where those certain pieces are, and then you take your X-Acto knife right here, and then what I'm, what I'm going to do is just simply, eventually, you know, cut out each one of these pieces just like this, just like each one. So I'm going to do that now, and I promise you it'll probably look a lot better once all those pieces are cut out. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so this is basically what it looks like after I've got all the pieces cut out. I'll admit it does look a little bit futuristic for a Dreamcatcher, but the design is completely up to you. If you want to make it a little more traditional, then you just cut it out a little bit differently. So it's obviously it's not complete yet. We still have a few things to go. First thing I did here was make a little tab so we can ha you can put like a loop through there and just like hang it on something. I just you know stuck two pieces together, a little bit of sticky side showing, and we will stick that up here. That'll allow it to be hung somewhere. I have a whole bunch of tassels down here, so we can stick those on. I have a couple different lengths there, so I'll make it look a little bit cooler. So I just stick that piece right on there. And we'll go with one of the smaller ones here. Take that on. Put it right there. And then for that one, we'll actually peel that back around through the dream catcher. Just so that it doesn't look, look, look kind of weird. So I stick that on. And we'll go with another long one here. So stick that one on right about there. And finally this last short one. Stuck right there and put it right there. And once again, we will peel that little piece back around through the dream catcher like that. So there you go, that's basically your simple dream catcher. And you can hang this anywhere you want to. It's Kind of an interesting creation. If I wanted to, I could have added another longer strip here to make it a little more symmetrical, but hey, that's completely up to you. So that's pretty much how to make a duct tape dream catcher, and there's a completely new idea. I just kind of came up, came up with that out of the blue, so uh, I don't think any of this has ever been done before, but if it has, oh well, then just a, kind of an interesting thing to do. So uh, check out some of my other tutorials if you want to, and there will be more tutorials coming in the future, so take care, and I'll see you guys next time.